the lady in white, heartbroken 500 years later, executed priest trapped within his hiding place, the lost soldiers wandering the halls waiting to go home. The definition of insidious is to proceed in a gradual, subtle way, but actually with harmful effects. And this is exactly what happens tonight. A hall full of stories, guys. Ghosts, murders, and mysteries. Oh, wow. Jeez. That poor girl never ate again, never slept again, never drank again, and she died literally of a broken heart. That's when the famous sightings of the late the White Lady Sons have taken place. Quite a few paranormal um, experiences in this room. I've actually seen a few people come out of here and be physically sick. The lights are fully out. There's actually no one else on the entire property. These are the areas that they've seen her walking through here. It stopped. We did just put her inside. You now turn on the flashlight to give us confirmation. Oh, dude, this is incredible. She's literally answering me. And all you need to do is come close to here. Yes, just like that. Just like that. It's the most haunted room. That means something. If you enjoy us communicating with you, you can let it be known. The flashlight just moved. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Somlisbury Hall, the Lady in White. This is night 7 of 13 from our UK and Ireland series, so please make sure to subscribe. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel that is fully dedicated to all things paranormal haunted, spooky, mysterious, unsolved, really scary, makes you wanna cry, but we're gonna fight through it because we're not sad or scared on the inside. We'll never show that to anyone ever. I swear that's just our thing. But you know, we're here to do it and find proof of the paranormal. We're in the UK, the haunted capital of the world. Yo, know, is it? It is, I, I truly believe, I believe England- it has to be. I believe England is considered the most haunted country in the world. Tonight is a special night because this was Dan's choice. This is my hometown. Your area. You this is my this. hometown. I did this, I take full responsibility. <laughs> if one of you get dragged off into the woods, mm -hmm. um, this is my local town. Uh, this is the local hotspot and many, many stories of hauntings, rumors of white ladies appearing on the street causing major accidents and deaths. What? Oh uh, boys, you are in for a treat tonight. What? For the record, we're sleeping here tonight. Oh, we are. So yeah. you know we're staying we're staying awake laying in bed like this. I'm tonight. sleeping here tonight. Yeah, I'll be I'll be out <laughs> just so I'm going to be I'm on just, TikTok on that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's every so, night, but yeah. 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 I'll be out cold and you will be catching up on probably. season 6 of Fake Taxi. <laughs> That's that's like that's the game on Sega where you drive around all crazy, right? Yeah. That's that. Yeah, that's and then they the and line. then and then he asks you questions while driving, and if they get the mm. question right, they win money before yeah. they get to their location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that yeah. One, that's as much as you know about this place, as much as I could read up on the internet, it was only right that we hit up Simon again. Simon Entwithel, our historian from Pendle Hill, will be mm. joining us tonight to just kind of yes. really yes. recreate the stories, and in my opinion. I believe that the ability in which he can tell these stories oh, yeah. mm. might even resurrect like hypo activity. the residual energy that might yeah. be here from the things he's going to tell us. Those stories just so thoroughly, vividly, just drilling them into your brain so that when you go to sleep here tonight, it's all you can think about. Just the ghosts that just haunt the halls in all these angry spirits and you're just going to feel that in your bed sleeping here tonight. I'm... I, I'm the your brain just went. Let's go talk to Simon. Let's go, let's go talk to yeah. my, my, my future father. Yeah. 
Somlesbury Hall is renowned as one of the most haunted locations in Britain, with now legendary spirits that reside here. All throughout the 700-year-old structure seems to be free reign for the hauntings that frequently occur here. In the Great Hall, guests are known to experience inexplicable slaps to the back of the head, uncomfortable feelings by wedding guests, and shadow figures quickly crossing, trying not to be seen. The room upstairs have captured photographs with unexpected guests, and the smallest chamber atop the building leaves those daring enough to stay in alone, nauseous, and instantly sleep-deprived. This place knows many tales of horror and hauntings, but tonight we will only focus on the ones we believe we encountered during our investigation. The lady in white manifested from heartbreak, witnessing her fiancé murdered by her own brothers by order of her father. The soldiers that would burrow away here during cold winters only to never see spring. And the priest who was executed for practicing his faith. We believe that to properly conduct a paranormal investigation of this historic location, we have to indeed know the history. So who better to bring that back to life for us than our friend from Pendle Hill, Simon N. Twistle. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. If you hear or see anything during this video, please leave a comment and let us know. Hey everyone, before the investigation begins, I just want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Shudder, which is hands down the best streaming service for all things horror, thriller, and supernatural for movies and shows. Something I know that you all Shudder is considered to be the Netflix of horror and is adding new content every single week. So of course they are closing out the year by packing in holiday horror such as Black Christmas, Better Watch Out, and the Advent Calendar. Shudder gives you unlimited access, ad-free, on all of your devices no matter what that might be. So get started streaming the best horror, thriller, and supernatural content. Shudder's expertly curated collection includes must-see titles like Vicious Fun, the Mortuary Collection, and PG Psycho Gorman, plus all the best horror documentaries and the hit Creepshow TV series from executive producer Greg Nicotero of The Walking Dead. So go ahead and try Shudder for free for 30 days right now by heading to Shudder.com, S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com and use promo code overnight. Get started right away. Start watching some more spooky content besides just this channel, which by the way, Thank you all so much for watching, and this UK series, and Ireland, and the catacombs, is some of the best, coolest investigations we have ever done. Hello there, guys. Hi, man. Good to see you again. Nice to see you, folks. Welcome to one of Great Britain's gems, the fabulous, grade one listed, Salisbury Hall. A hall full of stories, guys. Stories of ghosts, murders, and mistress, please follow me. Wow. Yo! <laughs> oh, this. this is so cool. Wow. Oh my god. I yeah. want this in my house. I just want like a giant beer bug to go, huzzah! <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Simon, do you ever do you ever get fast food? Yeah. You do? What does it sound like when you order? Uh, <laughs> well, um, say McDonald's. Well, I, I actually do like pizza. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That was a little white yeah. trash. Uh, <laughs> Pizza Hut's fantastic, really. Although um, I find the McDonald's in America a lot better than the, the British ones. Really. You get a much bigger portion in, in the USA. Oh, oh that's true. Oh, yes. 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 The British ones are like, uh, the, say, Big Mac. Yeah. Three mouthfuls. It's gone, hasn't it? Really? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are in the oldest part of Sardinia Hall. Our story really starts way back in the year 1322, and a family called the Southwest. Very, very wealthy landowners. Really wealthy landowners. Things were going very, very well for this family until a gentleman called Robert the Bruce and the Scottish Lords came down from Scotland and set fire to every building in Clitheroe. So the south of family thought, let's start again. And they chose this exact site. This is the oldest part of Sardinia Hall. And that beam in the corner there, I can assure you, does date back to 1325. However, there was a huge problem for this family that lived here. They were ardent Catholics. Now, after 1536, King Henry VIII outlawed the Roman Catholic faith, and anyone preaching Catholicism would be classed as a traitor. The South has refused to accept any other religion. As a result, this beautiful building was indeed a safe haven for Catholic priests, 
When they arrived on the shores of Lancashire, they'd come inland and the south of family would look after them. The army always had their suspicions on the south of family, but each time they arrived, the priests were hidden in the, the priest huts. So therefore, they, they put a scout on one of the local hills and he watched all day and all night and saw a priest arrive. He alerted the authorities, the authorities arrived, the south were all arrested and sent to the Tower of London. They found a priest upstairs. He was executed by beheading. When the Harrisons died, they left the building to their 21-year-old son, uh, William Harrison. Uh, he became insolvent and sadly, he shot himself upstairs. The bullet is still in the wall. I shall show you that later no. on. Wow. What I love about this building is every single room has a different story of ghosts, murders, and mysteries. Oh, wow. Jeez. We're now in the year 1420. And this room was designed by a gentleman called Thomas Southworth. There's his lovely wife, Anne, just there. If the army were in the area, and the south was for harboring Catholic priests, they'd pull the sleeve back, the front of the fireplace would come open, and in the priests would go. They were protected by a sheet of metal here from the flames. They had their own air supply up there. And if you look out of the window, you'll see just how far back the actual uh, chimney breast goes. You could get 12 priests in there, no problem. Why? King Henry VIII knew all about him, and he, he said, I want this man captured. He is a danger to the Anglican religion. He was chased all over England and was captured at a place called Hinlet Hall in Somerset in the year 1606 and sent to the Tower of London. He was told when he got to the Tower of London, if he just renounced his Catholic faith, he could indeed uh, go home. He refused to accept any other religion apart from Catholicism. The poor lad was hung, drawn, and quartered a very, very painful and barbaric death. Let's have our first ghostly tale. There's nothing Thomas liked more than sitting in front of a glowing fire with his wife Anne by his side, watching his children playing the carpet. Being a typical Catholic, he told his wife Anne, when I depart this earth, please carry my last wishes as a Catholic. I wish to be laid in my coffin for two days. His wife Anne very, very sadly carried out this last wish. Some 400 years later, a gentleman called John Erickson from New Jersey arrived in 1972 with his wife and three daughters. Just like any tourist, he came and started taking photographs and took one from this rather acute angle. Went back to New Jersey and handed in the film. Three days later, he went back to the film processors and skipped through the photographs. His jaw dropped in amazement as he saw the photograph he'd taken from this rather acute angle. You could clearly see a coffin on a trestle and he knew it wasn't there when he took the photograph. He did contact the hall and there was no logical explanation whatsoever. Um, every time I enter this room, there's always a different aroma. It's always a very pleasant aroma, but it's always very, very different. And I always feel as if Thomas is indeed still with us. Oh, wow, there's so many rooms. Welcome to the chapel. When the South was lived here, sermons would take place in an atmosphere of fear and persecution. Remember, the Catholic faith has been completely outlawed and anyone preaching Catholicism will be treated like we treat a modern-day terrorist killed on the spot. This room has a very, very sad story uh, of the White Lady of Salisbury. Who was the White Lady? Well, she was called Dorothea, Lady Dorothea Sandler. And we turn the clock back now to 1628, made her way across the manicured lawn to Salisbury Hall and into the forest. There she came across a very, very handsome young lad of the name of de Hall. It was literally love at first sight, but a huge problem for Dorothea when she came back here to the hall. Her father was furious. We're Catholics, they're Protestants. You'll never see him again, Lance. If you do, I'll have you banished. You'll live with the nuns of the south of France. We're Catholics. He will never, ever have my permission to take your hand in marriage. This threat fueled their love. In the dead of night, she'd leave her bed and meet young de Hall. On a beautiful, beautiful moonlit night, Dorothea left her bed. She made her way across the lawn to Sandby Hall and towards the forest. There, on the fringe of the forest, illuminated in bright, bright moonlight, was young Dee Horton. When Dee Horton saw her, he very, very politely bowed. He knelt down and affectionately kissed her hand, reached into his pocket and produced a huge engagement ring. Oh, Dorothea, will you end this heartache and become my wife? A huge smile came across her face, and she gratefully accepted the proposal, knowing full well her family would ostracise her. Out of the forest appeared Dorothea's two brothers, armed with two very sharp knives. 
they maliciously murdered the young lad right in front of her. Dorothea's heart was snapped in two. The tears spilled down her cheeks. She was brought back to this very, very room and placed under house arrest. The following morning, her cruel father had her sent to Marseille in the south of France to join the nuns there. On arriving there, that poor girl never ate again, never slept again, never drank again, and she died literally of a broken heart. That's when the famous sightings of the late White Lady Sandry have taken place. Always across the road to our left where the old moat used to be, and always in between the horse chestnut and the yew tree of the Lord's Hill. In 1926, in between the horse chestnut and the yew tree, they found the foot of an adult skeleton. And the sergeant in charge of the excavation said, definitely a murder, but I don't think we'll catch the culprit. This man's been here for at least 450 years. And on one of the fingers, this huge, huge ring, the ring was removed, carefully inspected, and had the words engraved inside, Dorothea, D. Horn. It was none other than young D. Horn, who had been murdered by the two South of Boys and buried in the ground of Sandsby Hall. That would explain why the white lady Sandsby would go to the grave of the only boy that ever showed her any love, any warmth, and any affection. So, we're now going to make our way upstairs, and I shall show you uh, the priest hole, the optical illusion priest hole. I shall show you a 45 service cop revolver bullet which is in the wall. So this room is known simply as the priest room. They say it's the most paranormal active room at Sarnby Hall. The most tragic event that did take place here, of course, was um, when the army were watching. And this priest arrived downstairs on a bitterly cold night, knocked on the door. The South of course, immediately gave him sanctuary. He was also given a, a nice meal, etc. And he had no idea he had brought the army with him. The army surrounded the building. Five soldiers kicked the door in. They came rushing upstairs, found this lad deep in prayer, and he was executed by beheading in this very, very room. Over the years, we've had um, quite a few paranormal um, experiences in this room. They say when they come in here, they feel that they're actually at sea. It seems to affect their equilibrium, and uh, I've actually seen a few people come in here and be physically sick. It, uh, it does, does have a, an effect. Actually, the first time I ever came in here, I felt quite dizzy. I was only 16 at the time. I've we, had that in a couple we, of rooms. If you go and stand here, it actually feels like this part of the room is leaning over. Mm. You know, it is kind of... Yeah. Well, Simon. Yeah. Thank you. No, no, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure, guys. Okay. Appreciate everything. No, it's been nice seeing you. Like, hey. It really, really yes. has. And um, yes. I hope, uh, hope the series is a success. Thank you. Cheers. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank nice you, my friend. You. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. You don't, you don't feel off balance in here? A little bit. I feel like I'm doing this. I feel I mean, a little yeah, like I mean, my dude. head feels a little swollen. Yeah? Yeah, like a dehydrating feeling, but I mean, I'm chugging water, man. I don't think that's it right now. It's <laughs> yeah. So we're going to start right at the most haunted hour. I mean, if we get the gear right now, we can be ready at three. I'm wrong down. We got 12 yeah. minutes till three right now. We can do that. Let's go get the gear. All right. Lights are fully out. There's actually no one else on the entire property. There's nobody even staying in like the hut area? There's someone staying three buildings over who will not be waking up until six in the morning. So she's basically gonna lock up when we're finishing. So if we hear anything, it's us. Okay. 100%. It's us or something else. Okay. But we laid out all the gear. So everything from the SLS to the K2, the Obulus, the cat balls, two REM pods, motion sensor, the mag lights, spirit box with headphones, also an EVP recorder, and a standard camera, because we heard so many stories about pictures being taken here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything's here, as well as full spectrum GoPros that we can set up throughout the building, just to make sure we capture absolutely everything. I'm gonna go, I, I tend to have good luck with the flashlights. I'll take the camera. All right. I'm taking the EMF. Cool. I do music box as well. All right, gents. Let's walk around for a minute. All right. I'm also on the Oculus. I'll snap pictures. Face. Soldier. Wow. Oh, wow. Face and soldier. The white lady has no face. Uh, soldier. soldier. Just as we walk into the room in the fireplace, so it's all just freezing in here too. Wow. No, this is the coldest room in the whole place. I'm not sure why. First things first, let's introduce ourselves. Yep. Oh. Hello, my name is Corey. Hello, my name
my name is Matthew. Hello, my name is Don. Hello, my name is Elton. Are there any residents still in Soundless Ferry Hall? We'd so, love to be able to meet you tonight. Soldier again. Soldier again. Again? Yeah. Two. Two. Two, two. two times. It said soldier, soldier, and then two. Hmm. This room is so, like, has such an active past. I kind of want to booby trap this as we move on and see. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll be able to hear it. I would put it at the fireplace. That's where they kept putting their hands. Oh, right. Here, I'll put you right here. With this manifest. Wow. Huh. Right there, like that? That's exactly where that picture was taken. Yeah. Dance didn't get the energy up in here. I don't know what will. New moon. No way. New moon. New moon. Numbers. 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 I, 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 what was that? The microphone picked up the tail end of it. Nobody heard that slam. Yeah. Hey, but the energy is up in here. Sisters? Warp and sisters. Sisters and sisters. The twin sisters, that's where they party. Rebecca, was that one of them? Building. I don't remember their names. One of the names Rebecca. I feel like one of their names is Rebecca. Great. They're obvious. Yo, yo, this is going up. crazy right now. How are we going to split up? I haven't done anything with Dan yet. Okay. Alright, so you and Dan. Me and Corey. Who wants to go where? Someone should definitely spend a good amount of time in the priest room. <laughs> yeah. And the rest can probably wander around a bit. Yeah. We should go in the priest room. Want to? Yeah. Because I'm really wanting to do the room with the fireplace and then also where the white lady would walk around. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. Now. If anyone's torso, mm -hmm. that would capture it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, should I throw headphones on? Yeah. Or do you want to listen? No, you can listen. Let's see here. I'm going to 
gonna put this in a different room because we have a camera in every room now. Okay. Murder. 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 <laughs> felt. Murder felt. Well, that's what they say about the white lady. The white lady, she saw a murder. She felt everything, broke her heart. Am I speaking with the white lady? Is that what they call you? Right, okay, so we have set up some devices for you to have a play with, if there is anyone here. We have a device here to my left, a device to my right, a device behind me, and there's a couple of balls outside there as well. If you would like to come forward, make yourself known, you can even Talk through the device over here. Please set off one of the devices so I know your presence is here. What is that? Shot. No. Yeah. Shot. No. Really, yeah. Shot. We should go outside with this for a minute. Right That's now. where they said they always see the white lady. Yeah. I'm down for that. Tim. Tim? River. River. Do you want to give it a try? Yeah, I can add anything. It seems, it seems quiet here. Is anybody here with us? Are we alone in this 800 year old building? Everyone says they see her right between here and the trees. Really? Yeah. Just walking this? Yeah, because it would have happened a few hundred feet that way towards the edge of the forest. So, it would have happened somewhere over here, but she's said to be seen pacing from here all the way through the chapel to the other side where the moat was. These are the areas that they've seen her mm. walking through here. It's working, showing you right now. Do you remember her original name? Oh my god, I forgot it. Me too. Uh, Dorothea. Dorothea? Dorothea. And if you've brand new, you've never seen this. It looks for heat masses, and then it maps it out as a, as a figure. Dorothea, yeah, was her name. Dorothea, or the white lady as some call you. If you're out here tonight, we'd like to communicate with you and talk with you and learn more about what's happened in the past. If you're willing to speak with us. We mean no harm, and we cannot see you or hear you, but we do have some devices that will allow us to communicate with you, if you would like. Yeah, look at that moon. I reckon we give it a little bit longer, yeah. if not, we'll move to the fireplace. Yeah, pull it. definitely. Because I mean, this is a murder spot, but a suicide spot. Yeah. If there's anyone here with us, can you please give us a sign of your presence? Touch one of our devices, make a noise. Is that you? 
Is that you making your presence known? Do you have a lot of anger built up? Are you mad because you watched? I just saw that. Yeah. It doesn't stay on the screen for at least a few seconds. I tend to think it's no way. No way. No way. It just died. As you say, I saw that. It was. <laughs> Aggression, we saw a stick figure on the ground and it dies. What is it with this and every time it captures something, it just shuts down. It's done. I mean, dude, if you think about it, isn't that the, isn't that like a, the device that has the most power battery? Like yeah. it's a, it's a f iPad, you know what I mean? Like that would have much more, it's done. It's dead. If that is indeed you making your presence known here, can you do it one more time, please? And make the sound go off. Don't be scared. We're not going to hurt you. I mean, we've come here hoping you can help spread the word of God to us. But we need to know that you're here. All right, well, maybe let's bring energy back inside and... Yeah, maybe, maybe she doesn't want us out here looking for her. Yeah, or we can try and invite her back inside where it's warmer. There is anyone in this room, and if you want to place your hands on the fireplace, you're welcome to. We also have a device that plays music in here if you'd like to listen to it. All you have to do is stand in front of the fireplace, and it will play you a song. You heard that. Stopped. What color was it? Red. We did just invite it inside. You know the building was that quick. I mean, I guess it could make sense. Hello. We didn't mean to scare you by rushing in here. We did. We just want to talk with you. Press. Scared. Scared. Weeps. weeps. Scared and weeps. Dude. We've set up a flashlight on this table. And you can communicate with us by putting your energy into it or trying to turn it on and off. Are there any spirits in this building that would like to communicate with us tonight or talk with us? That's 
never heard him make that noise before. Ever. I thought you were holding a REM pod. No. Dorothea, if that's you, could you let go of the device? Thank you. Thank you. Dorothea, if that is you touching our device, can you now turn on the flashlight on the table to give us confirmation? Oh. Thank you. That was really good. You can turn the flashlight back off. And this is how we can talk to you by answering us through the flashlight. If not, you can touch the device that's on the ground and we can ask you questions through that instead. Thank you. Turned off. Are you still upsetting your family? Because of what they put you through? Murdering your future husband? Sending you away? Dying with a broken heart? Yeah. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I couldn't imagine the pain that you felt or that you're still feeling to this day. I do have a question though that I'm curious about because we're still alive on this planet. Are you able to be or see your boyfriend and or future husband that was murdered now that you both are passed away? Can you turn the flashlight on for yes? Thank you so much. Wow. Dude, she's, she's talking to me. It's literally turned on for her. Okay. I'll just keep taking pictures. Okay, well, that is very good. Can you turn the flashlight off? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Dorothea, we're going to try to take a picture of you if that's okay. If you can, go back to the flashlight. Wow. Incredible. Wow. Can you turn the flashlight back off? We might have gotten a picture of you. So, flashlight and REM pod were off the exact same time. Yeah. We're going to take pictures of the flash on and I want to turn it off. That's a good idea. Okay, Dorothea. Hey, would you mind turning off your light too? Come we're going to try taking one more picture of you, okay? As soon as you turn the flashlight on, we're going to snap a picture. We promise that if you allow us to take your picture, will only be done so in positive light to prove to others around the world that you're here. And although your heart may be broken, we believe that people around the world would have compassion for your story and show you the love that you desperately wanted. The same love that you were never granted 
and that was stolen from you, you might be able to help bring back. So if you wouldn't mind shining the light one more time, making yourself known. Thank you, Dorothea. Thank you. If you enjoy us communicating with you and talking with you, you can let it be known. You see anything? I do, but it's not pleasant. You tell me it doesn't look like two eyes and nose and teeth. Wait, what is that? Right there, on the wall. Yeah, off, but it's not making a noise. Yeah, it's just a little bit of power. Exactly. Wow. Thank you, Dorothea. So you do enjoy talking with us. I want to bring in the cat ball. Actually, I kind of want to bring in the music box. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. Yeah, it's so dead. Nothing. It's so dead. So I've gotten some words on another tool that I'm holding in my hand that might have gotten picked up from you. And it said scared and weeps. Okay. So that is you. Can you turn the flashlight off? Put as much power as you can into it. I know it's exhausting and it probably makes you a little tired, but if you can, turn that flashlight off and I'm gonna ask you another question. You almost got it. Thank you. I'm gonna set another device right here next to the flashlight. You can try to speak into it and it might be able to pick up your words. Dorothea, can you turn the flashlight back on? If there are multiple spirits, entities, people, that are still roaming these grounds. If there are any other spirits, Dorothea, that you think would want to talk to us as well, could you have them walk through that door? It'll make another tool that we have, it's called a music box. And it'll make it go off and it'll play music. You can either sit at the piano, walk through the door. Whoa. I watched that come through the doorway. I watched the REM pod get a little bit more power as the flashlight got less. Really? Yeah, I literally watched it happen like that. It was like a seesaw. Really? Seesawing with the energy. What? Every time I leave the room, I'll be honest, I walk in and I see it happen. I'm curious. You seem to be getting better answers when I leave. Am I? I think so. Dorothea, I have another question for you that I've always wondered and I still don't know. And it's something that I've always been very curious about. But when you die, does your life consist of then replaying those terrible moments? Okay. Damn. Turn the flashlight off. Good. That makes me 
very happy. Simon said, the only way you get activity in the haunted room is if you're by yourself. Is that what he's... That's what he said. Oh. He said, this is the most, the room with the most activity if you're up here by yourself. I'm glad we chose down here. Well, I'm going to go up there by myself. You are? Yeah. I'm glad I chose down here. See a little bit? You're really good. Okay. I'm going to go up there with the headphones on and the spirit box. Now way I can listen, mm -hmm. and the people watching can listen. Mm -hmm. So she is said to uh, to roam right through here. Mm -hmm. But like I said, she's also known to uh, to go onto the main road and cause accidents. Where, was, where was the body found? This way. That way? Yeah, it was in, into the garden. Oh, it's in the garden? Yeah. Jeez. This is... Probably the weirdest thing I volunteered for, but I trust Simon. And if Simon says it's the most haunted room, that means something. feeling of here. Dorothea, if you can hear me, it's been told that you walk this garden and this yard to and from home, searching for your lost love. We'd just like to know that you're here and that you're okay. Was that you, Dorothea? Or is that Mr. Halton? Oh, is that his name? Mr. Halton, if that was you, please come forward and let us know. We really want to make contact with you. Or I put these headphones on. I'm sure people have come here before. To let you know their intentions and why they wish to speak with you. And in my case, it's not only find proof there may be an afterlife. And if there's anyone to seek that knowledge from, it would be a priest. Someone who would understand and have dedicated their life to becoming closer to the knowledge that I also seek. And I'd also love to learn from you Although the series of events unfortunate that led to your passing, but to understand why you took the risk you did in coming here for your faith, that's something I would truly love to understand. 
Will you lead me to where other spirits are also roaming around? Where there are more spirits? Or is it only you here? said to do that. I don't know. Dude. Dude. Did she just... I saw it shaking. Literally, you walked over there and it just started rolling. If you're listening, could you please repeat back to me what my name is? My name is Elton. So if you could say Elton back to me, at least then I would know you're listening. You don't have to give away any of your own information. And all you need to do is come close to here, just like that. Just touch that device. Yes, just like that. Just like that. Could you do it again for me? Thank you. Is that you, Mr. Halton? Is that you we're speaking to? Or is it Miss Dorothea? Okay. So it's Miss Dorothea. Miss Dorothea, it's okay. You don't have to fear us. Okay. You don't fear us. We mean you no harm. I really feel like she left, bro. Yeah. That was like 20, 30 minutes of straight interaction and then now it's just mm -hmm. dead. I only said Elton is something, I don't know where the rest of us. Yo. Yo. Feeding, you're eating. I must say, I'm getting tired. You saying that you're feeding off of me, my energy. Make a lap to the right. Yeah, so you can see how close the road is. Yeah, I had no idea it was right there. Yeah, with how close the road is, the white lady said to walk straight through and sometimes straight through the building onto the road. And you see that it just stood at the side of the road and as cars are approaching, she would just step out and get close with a swirly crash. Wasn't like a 
too high with a lot of my, my cheekbone. It just hit me and then, yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it feels like this, like, I like punched in the face and now I'm just feeling the, the aftermath. Face hurts? Really? Why should face hurt? Wow, I'm gonna go set and then go up. It feels like the weird thing, I got like a pain like here and then another one here. But not like in my teeth. Like across like, like your face. Like my cheekbone, I guess. Yeah, just like from here across. That's weird. The only thing I could like Compared to would be um, if you got punched. You know what I mean? Like someone landed. Oh, it's like that type of pain. Not like that hard, but like the punch and then like the pain you feel after, like when it's swelling. I I, I think we got some pretty good evidence downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. And then she left. Really? They just stopped. Just stopped. Fair. And the other guys did. Yeah, I'm curious. Want to go meet up with them? Yeah, because they went outside after they left here. Yeah. Pack up, get a few hours of sleep, and then tomorrow we're driving to 30 East Drive, known as the Poltergeist House. Oh boy, oh boy. What? It's basically Conjuring House, Poltergeist House, same amount of notoriety. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? <laughs> Why would you pick like the scariest place in the world, the Walter guy's house. Tonight we're sleeping on the property. Tomorrow we sleep in the house. Hey man, all right. What is sleep? You know.